2022, I expect the people of Kogi State to expect consolidation on our achievements so far. We're going to consolidate in terms of security, in the fighting insecurity. We'll consolidate on our infrastructural development. We'll consolidate on uniting and the human capital development. And by the special grace of God, you should expect good governance from us in the year 2022. I have come to Kogi State to serve and I'm serving to the best of my ability sincerely, diligently, and I'll continue to serve the people of Kogi State. To the glory of God and to the admiration of all of our people, both at home and abroad. I thank the people of Kogi State for giving me this opportunity to serve in this capacity. And I thank my party, the All Progressives Congress, for giving me this opportunity to serve in this capacity. I appreciate the various groups and associations from South-South to South-East to Southwest, to the Northeast, Northwest and North Central. All Nigerians at home and abroad, and even other nationals or nationalities that are supporting and calling on me to run for presidency in 2023 to repeat and even do more of what I am doing in Kogi State today. I want to assure you that by the grace of God, when we come on board, we are going to serve sincerely to the best of our ability and our effort shall yield fruits. In Kogi State, we inherited a more difficult challenges in terms of insecurity, in terms of disunity, in terms of lack of infrastructure, in terms of exclusivity, excluding the younger ones and women from participating in politics, governance, and leadership. All of these have become a turn of the past. We have been able to manage our state well and we're still managing it well and managing borders of nine or 10 other states, including FCT, well, in addition to ours. All of the ethnic nationalities are contained here in Kogi State. We've been able to put ourselves together and work in unison, and hence the peace and security we are enjoying today in Kogi State. I believe that we shall repeat it and even do more when we come to the national stage at whatever level. And I sincerely appreciate all of these various groups. Continue the advocacy. Continue the movement. And let's continue to pray to God and pray for the current administration of President Muhammad Buhari and various other leaders, governors, local government chairmen, traditional rulers, religious leaders, union, union youth groups, student bodies, let's continue to speak with one voice. Nigeria is the only country we have. Somebody like me, I don't have another passport other than my green passport. I value it, I cherish it. Just like I know you value it and you cherish it. We have all the resources in this country, both natural, human, and other material resources that we can put and harness together to make Nigeria greater and greatest of all countries. Let us be resilient. Let us be law abiding. Let us continue the movement and preach civility. I know surely that 2023 holds a lot in stock for us. Please let us live in peace and unity. I sincerely appreciate you God is going to answer our prayers. Thank you, and I wish all Nigerians, especially my brothers from South South, the Baramatu voice, I appreciate you so much. I wish each and every one of us happy new year 2022. Thank you, and God bless all of you.